I made literal flashcards for this because I've been overthinking making a video for a very, very long time. So <laughs> we're diving right into it. I have been pondering about the merits or the use, the purpose of making videos while I was actively making videos last year and even before that. It's like every time I get in the rhythm, I just start questioning everything and start thinking what's the purpose of all of this. At some point I watched Campbell's video in his channel in Strathless where he made a video about how we're just turning everything into content instead of focusing on making art as creatives or as people who indulge in their creativity or whatever. So I just made these flashcards right here to uh, really just simplify everything for me just to talk this out on camera and to talk about why I want to continue making videos and why I think it might be beneficial to for you to do something similar if you like to um, somehow document your creative journey or whatever. So I told myself last year that I want to focus on making art, not content. The problem is I've been making neither. I, at least by my measure of what quantifies or qualifies as art, I don't think I've been making anything or many things that I'm actually proud of. And even if I have started or if I did uh, start making something that I thought, okay, this will become something I'm proud of, this will become something I look back on and think I'm glad I invested my time in this. Even if I start, I don't follow through with it and I don't really release it to the public or release it beyond just my brain or my mind or my sketches. So I just, I made neither. I didn't make content, I didn't make YouTube videos or um, anything that I would qualify as content. And I didn't make something that I would qualify as art either. So I just, I, yeah, it was a lose-lose situation for me. My first card is done. But then I just kind of started reflecting on what is art or what, what graduates the realms of what we would qualify as content and become art, you know? And to me, I, I don't think there's such a thing as creative and uncreative people. I, I believe that we were created, all human beings were created by a very, very creative being. And I believe that we were all created in his image. And him being very creative, I feel like, or I believe that everyone has intrinsic creativity in them. And... I don't think it's in anyone's place to say who is creative and who is not creative or who is um, like to divide all these different types of creativity that we're born with and to uh, say that no, this qualifies as art, this is not art or this is just fluff or this is just this and that. Of course, there's uh, s different skill sets and different uh, crafts that you can get into and refine your craft and refine your uh, skills and I'm not just saying this just to say this and to be like oh everyone's beautiful oh everyone's this but I think it's it's really in our nature to want to create or to want to be creative in whatever expression that we might prefer it, it does really raise the question of like whenever I say I want to make art not content for example uh, it does really bring the question of um well, what is art then? And what would you qualify as art? And how would you translate your creativity in this earth, in the time that you have? And uh, to really, you know, say, no, this, this is something that I hold to a higher value. And all of the rest of this is content. So I just wanted to like get that out of the way, just to say that I, as someone who has been indulging or had the privilege to be able to indulge in different creative pursuits, be it drawing or sand animation, writing. I, I've loved writing as a creative expression since I was a kid. So uh, as someone who has been doing that for a very long time, I wanted to focus my efforts into creating either a body of work or something that I could say, okay, this is something that I think captures something that I want to say or something I want to express or something that gives me joy. And I think it can be understood by another human being or it can be um, make someone else feel less lonely or make someone else connect in some way and just feel this middle ground 
the human experience, which I think is one of the wonders and one of the great things that we can do through art and through creativity. So this year I wanted to get better at that, at my at the craft that I have picked up over the years and also to be more focused and intentional in the projects that I choose to take on, how I uh, kind of organize myself so I can create something from and see it through from beginning to end. So to me, it's it's less a matter of what is art and what is, I don't want to focus on those questions right now. I want to, like, that's just too too deep and too much of a, like, I feel like I'll get lost in that. And I just want to create something that is a full expression and put it out into the world and not be scared and not and not uh, be a perfectionist and keep it close to my chest for long enough for me to get tired of it and not want to put it out anymore. So that's something I wanted to do. So <laughs> I got into planning and into the idea of planning to organize myself to create these projects that I want, I've been wanting to create for a long time. And in line with my faith, I find planning a little weird because it's just like it's you never know you know you can be like okay in the first quarter of the year I want to do this they say it's not like people who share my faith don't plan or don't uh, organize themselves in this very specific way but it it does feel a little strange and at least to me a verse that comes to mind whenever I think about what is well what is the main thing that I want to always focus on in my life it's this verse from Colossians I have it open here on my phone which is uh, Colossians chapter 3 it's like um, set your mind on things above not on things on the earth for you died and your life is hidden with Christ in God so these two verses verse 2 and verse 3 to me is like really sums up the matter of all these questions that I have about art and creativity and what should I do next are not existential questions because my life or what I believe is my life, my true identity, my soul, my being is wrapped up in Christ. It's hidden somewhere. It's hidden for to be really revealed in another time. And so it's not a matter of, oh, if I don't figure out what I need to focus on and what creative pursuit I have to go for, then I don't know who I am. I don't know because who I am is that identity who is tied to my creator. So it's um, those two verses to me are like the the main um, thing that I hold on to. But uh, yeah, even the first one, which is like set your mind on things above. So like that, keeping your focus, your main focus there, up there, or keeping my focus up where I'm hidden in Christ is like the main um, pillar of my identity. So what comes next is, so what do I do? while I'm here on this earth? That's that's not an existential question, really, like the matter of, so what do I practice? It becomes not a matter of, oh, I am an architect, or I am an artist, or I am a writer. It becomes a matter of, okay, now I'm writing. Now I practice architecture. Now I make buildings, or I design buildings. or um, So to do any of this, though, I'll have to be more intentional. And how I could do that to me I think is to focus more on removing or eliminating things that don't benefit me in any way or don't really uh, help me advance in any way advance my skill set help serve others do things that would be useful or help connect with someone else so um, I the thing that really like stood out to me is YouTube essays like one I want to limit eliminate watching YouTube essays um, I've just been even when the essays are about things that I think would benefit me like filmmaking or how to light things better and everything you can clearly see I have not really applied a lot of those lessons because I don't really uh, do it on the go like I will watch the video to tell myself oh yeah this is educational it's okay but then when you just watch too many videos and you don't really put it into practice it's like especially when you don't put it into practice right away, it, it really just fades and mixes with all the other information that you have consumed, like, you know, just random facts. 
elephants like to baby elephants like to throw themselves in mud when they're throwing tantrums i read that fact somewhere recently and uh, it just becomes that you know it blends with everything else so i told myself i don't want to watch youtube essays for now i think that will work if i remove the application the youtube application from my like block it on my computer and maybe on my phone i think i'm gonna do that i'll see if i can i can do that yeah I, I, i'm gonna block it on my phone like you guys are watching me here i'm saying it out loud so no squandering time the precious time that i've been given on this earth is not going to be wasted consuming 40 minute videos about like whatever random thing that i come across and intrigues me i think that's a very good place to start to be able to start doing something i have to clear up time and space in my days to actually get to those things and now i just wanted to share my process here because i wanted to walk along with anyone who, who wants to do this in public like grow out there and uh, i was inspired by someone actually by uh, this guy his name is carl frederick emmerich and he made a video titled being bad at stuff is cool i saw this in my youtube recommended on my home page and i still thought i i for some reason i didn't click and then my sister's friend her classmate who knows me was uh, was like this guy reminded me of your sister and he sent her this video and i just thought okay now i'm meant to watch it now i just i just want to watch this i started watching the video and it was just like being bad at stuff at school it it really is isn't it like i it inspired me to just make a bad video and <laughs> just to get back on track you know just to start putting out whatever work i'm doing out there again because i haven't been putting out work for a very long time I uh, took a long break from a lot of this because uh, I had fam family come over. It was a whole amazing thing by itself, but like it really like derailed me in a way because I, I just felt like I lost my bearing. And I afterwards, when I tried to get back on track to the projects that I started, I, it's like I couldn't do it anymore. You know, it's like, where do I start? For now, I'm just going to start badly or go back to it badly. And uh, I made this video to just talk about that and to talk about what I've been making recently. And for now, I'm just uh, doing work that I have agreed to do, creative work, which is awesome. And uh, this includes creating a storyboard, uh, includes uh, doing a happy birthday poster. I did this like I think a couple of weeks ago, almost it's been almost a couple of weeks. I uh, made a guitar, a drawing of a guitar, because I was procrastinating doing a storyboard that I was supposed to do. And I uh, started preparing my sand animation kit. I have the, uh, the whole white cloth that I have to wash and all that. And I took pictures. I took these pictures. This one is in Bole, in a mobile shop that I bought my phone screen protector from. I took pictures of these two black catlings, two cute voids. I took pictures of these pigeons in the Bole minibus stop. This man and someone who seemed like his brother were taking care of them. And I took a picture of the map, a map of uh, the locations or birthplaces of different authors that I've been, I was reading a while ago. And uh, I started this map and look, I had, I didn't even finish it. I made an envelope. I didn't know how to do that, how to make that. I just followed my sister's envelope that she had that I just used that as a template to go and so yeah for now that's it I, uh, I hope this is gonna be a consistent thing that I do every week just update you on the creative things that I've been doing yes another thing that I'm so excited for is this uh, stationary thing I agreed with one of my clients to uh, create a list of stationary items that they'll be getting to uh, do a graphic recording thing of their final meeting in this country. So I ugh, imagine doing stationary shopping or compiling a list of stationery for work. Like that is just a dream for me. So I just wanted to, like I went through the markers that I had sampled from a, an acquaintance and I, ugh, I was just going through that just to see whether I wanna buy those or, or whether I wanna buy the Ohuhu markers. Let me, let me go real quick and get those. So these are the Neuland markers that 
I had sampled last year. They were, okay, I think it's been two years now, yeah. They are a brand that's dedicated to making stationery for people who do graphic recording, which is kind of like translating people's ideas and stuff into visual notes. It's like graphic recording or visual facilitation. There's a lot of vocabulary that I hadn't mastered yet. And just look at the marker. Like there's just the, the streakiness and the the way it is. It's just, look at it. It doesn't even bleed through on the other side. This this is not things that bled through. This is just, I drew on both sides. It's a normal A4 paper, but the way the marker is, is that it doesn't like uh, bleed on the other side. It's like made to... Uh, protect the paper and not really have like too much ink come out and not have the ink damage the paper really so it's really awesome and I might make a list of what kind of markers of these Neuland markers will have to will be shipping and I also got these Ohuhu markers <laughs> I'm not I'm not like sponsored or anything this is a small channel but I'm just excited about stationery and I'm considering whether for the stationary shopping I will do for the client. Should I get more of these markers, like just dedicated to doing the work that they want us to do, they want me to do with the, a team, or should I get these Neuland markers? So I was just talking to my sister about that and like, what should I get? And it's just an amazing dilemma to have, you know, because I think I can maybe get both for their strengths and yeah, we'll see and figure out what we will work with later on so I, I don't know if this video was coherent enough and i hope i don't have to do a lot of editing because i want this to be sustainable and just like off the cuff and just <laughs> make ho hopefully it will help me be more eloquent as a speaker in real life as well and like as a communicator or an educator and um yeah it, it's been awesome doing this i guess <laughs> and i'm hopefully gonna see you next week uh, have a blessed, fruitful rest of the week and year. And take care, babies.